heading down to the print farm. I think a few of you went along with me on this journey years, gosh, years, almost two years ago, about a year and a half ago, when I started this new print farm, and now we're expanding it a little bit. But as you can see, things have changed a little bit. There's no longer a bulldozer here. I did sell that bulldozer and took the money from it and bought some more printers. And <laughs> so there's always a good thing there. Uh, this is Friday afternoon and tomorrow my student intern and I are going to be working out here. And we've got a little burn pile here, some old lumber and stuff piled up. We're going to burn that and clear this whole area out here. We've cleaned up a lot of this outside, but we still have a lot more to do. Have this old truck from the construction business with the generator on it gonna try to sell that or give it away get it out of here we got a little more parking room here we still have an excavator over here I'll be selling that still have a few things got this one bobcat left here and the bucket for it everything's growing up around here and there's my tractor that I used to use to mow when I had a lot of property but I sold 18 acres of it and don't have as much and here's the building that we're working out of we have an area in the back for the 3d print room and as you can see this front area still a big mess of stuff i'm planning on ordering a dumpster and getting rid of a lot of this a lot of the stuff here is the trash that we've piled up that we're going to be either burning or putting in the dumpster here's a little bit of the lumber that i got for stud walls that's the air conditioning the outside condenser unit and then just tool cabinets here with tools workbench area and then back here is the room that we're prepping this is going to be our assembly room so that we can move the assembly stuff out of the other side and free up more space over there for printers and just keep all of the printing over there with filament and so forth and I think I showed you in the last video, that's where the AC unit's going. And we still have a lot of this trash to get out of here. Right now, these shelves, we're going to keep those. These are all parts for the helping hand. These are power supplies here. Scissors arm booms. These are floor stands. These are the flex arms corrugated tubing wire some microscopes and some other power cords and so forth and we'll be organizing these shelves and uh, not even sure what these are here yeah these are more power supplies so we're going to be getting this area set up we'll use this wall over here for storage of parts and then we'll put a workbench along that wall and probably along this wall and have an area there for soldering and assembly and so forth but a lot of work left to do in here now if we go next door We have some things in here like some heavy shears and metal brakes and so forth. I think I'm going to keep those because there may be some products that we'll be making in the future 
where we may have to do some metal fabricating and we have all the welding equipment and shears and metal brakes for bending and shaping the sheets of steel and we have several large sheets of steel over there and this area over here we have some more king room printers and stuff that haven't been assembled yet a couple I guess these are printers yep so we still have some more printers out here that we have to get back into our print room and here we go now we come into this area and there's our air conditioning unit on this side this is all filament and all filament behind this panel we put this table up here temporarily in that panel to do some videos and also to do some assembly down here i used to do all of the assembly up at the house but now with my intern we're doing more of it down here and this other side was going to be a little shipping area you can see some of our shipping stuff i'm still doing most of the shipping up at the house but we are trying to get set up down here where we can also do shipping down here and this portable shelf here is just full of filament and you can see we have some more printers here and here that need to be assembled and a lot of the helping hand components that have been assembled and put together and some ready for shipping and shipping containers and over in that area that you can't really see very well are the resin printers and some of the resin and so forth that I have that I haven't been able to do anything with that yet so there's still a lot of work to be done here and in our 3d print room since it's Friday afternoon we pretty much have finished printing for the weekend I've got a lot of work to do back here but you can kind of see that it has also become very cluttered and we've gotten behind on maintaining this room we still have a couple of these printers going the a8s this one's still running it's just now getting ready to finish up one of the parts that we're making for another company and you can see a couple of them here that are finished and there's my computer stuff and right now we've been doing some assembly over here and you can see the parts piled up on these printers this is not a good situation filament there filament here partially used rolls another printer printing that part and some of the a nets here so and here are several of those parts that I've already made. And we come around the end here. We've got our video system, of course. And then the Tronics, the XY2 Pros. We use those for printing these parts for the lap diner. So these are all lap diner parts. And then some more A nets down below. Also, A nets over here. Some of these have the PEI sheets, some of them are glass bed. And looking at our printers here, I think we're about to finish up. Yeah, it looks like we're about to finish up printing here. This job uses almost an entire spool of filament. You can see there's not much left on there. So by the time it's finished, that spool will be almost empty. I'll have enough left on it to print maybe a couple of small parts. And I may do that. 
but you can see I have these portable cameras that I use to move around to keep an eye on these. And then the overhead cameras here that look at the different printers and everything. And those allow me to monitor what's going on down here when I'm not here. As you can see, I can go back and I can see different cameras. Some of them are off right now, but you can see that I can keep an eye on that printer and know when it's about ready to finish. And that's why I'm down here now, because earlier when we shut down some of the other printers that we had running down here, these two were still running and I was watching them from the house and noticed that it was they were about ready to finish. So that's why I made the trip down here so I can get those parts off. And I may go ahead and just restart those printers with another spool of filament on each and let them print over the weekend. Again, we'll be working down here tomorrow. My helper my student intern will be here tomorrow and we'll be trying to clean some more of this trash out and do some burning outside and also maybe do a little bit inside trying to get some of this organized a little bit but when we get that other side finished a lot of this stuff will come out of here and we'll be able to do a much better job of straightening things up so until the next time Happy printing from New Tech Inventors.